Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. I get a lot of questions about my setup when it comes to performing live. A lot of you are curious about what that looks like for us fiddle players or violinists, so I thought I would give you all a rundown of my personal setup and what I use when I'm performing in live settings. So that's what we'll be talking about today. And if you're interested in any of the specific names of products that I'll be talking about today, I'll have those links in the description box below. I'm not sponsored by any of these products or companies, but just so that you can get an idea of what I use. If you enjoyed this video and find it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one along with fiddle tutorials each week, so consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. So the first thing that I use and that I would recommend when it comes to performing in live settings is what's called a pickup. And this is something that can be attached to the side of your violin, or sometimes there are instruments that have a built-in pickup. It just kind of depends on the type of instrument that you have and also the type of pickup. There are also pickups that can be attached to the strings behind your bridge, and I've used those as well. So there are many different types of pickups, but basically what a pickup does is it allows you to plug into whatever form of amplification you'll be using. Now, I like to keep my setup pretty simple when it comes to performing in acoustic settings. So typically the only thing that I'll have with me is my DI box. And this is something that is often supplied by venues. So it's not necessarily something that is a necessity or a requirement for fiddle players or violinists, but it's one of those things that I like to have just in case I find myself in a situation where the venue does not supply the DI box. It's nice to have that reassurance that you have one that you can bring with you and if you like having your own settings that can just be an added benefit of bringing your own supplies. So as I said, I like to keep my setup fairly simple. So what I'll do typically if I'm performing on stage is just plug my violin directly into my DI box, which then is plugged into the sound system of the venue. And in that type of situation, there will be somebody running sound, so they will know how to connect your DI box or whatever sound amplification you'll be using to the house sound system. So my pickup stays on my violin all the time. So all I really have to bring with me in those types of performance settings, if it's a more acoustic, simple setup is my DI box, as I said, and then a quarter inch cable that can be used to plug my violin directly into the DI box. And as I said, it's not necessary to have your own DI box as many venues will supply those for you. But again, it's just personal preference. Now, if I'm in a situation where I'll be performing more background music rather than being on stage and having that type of performance, I will bring my amp instead of my DI. So I just have a small acoustic amp that I, again, just plug my violin directly into. And in my case, the amp just plugs directly into a regular wall outlet. So I just have to make sure that I am seated or positioned near a wall outlet so that I'm able to plug the amp in and once I have that, I'm able to control all of my own settings and my sound, my volume, and make any necessary adjustments as I'm performing. So I use the amp for settings like weddings or private parties or events, that type of situation. So if that gives you any insight into kind of the setup that you might want to go with for those type of situations, if you're getting into performing for those types of events, then maybe keep that in mind. So for me personally, the amp that I have as an added bonus has built in effects. So I can actually change the effect that I want my instrument to have depending on the type of music that I'm playing or the setting that I'm performing in. So if I want it to have more reverb, for example, I can make that setting happen on my amp. Or if I'm playing more in the style of rock and I want that to be conveyed through my amp, I can go ahead and just make those adjustments there. So that's just something that my amp has, but again, it's not a necessity. It really depends on the types of situations that you'll be performing in and what type of style you enjoy playing in general. 
So that was just a little bit about my personal setup when it comes to performing live and what I tend to use. As I said, it's very simple. It's just between those few things that I have my pickup, I have my cable, my DI, and my amp depending on the setting. Some people enjoy having pedals when they perform so that they can create different effects with their instrument. So that's something maybe worth looking into if you're interested in that sort of route. And of course, there are many different setups to have when performing live. This is just what I personally personally use since many of you have asked. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about my setup when it comes to performing live. And hopefully this could give you some insight if you are starting to perform on your own, which if so, congratulations, that's really exciting. Or if you just want to kind of play around on your own at home too, this can be a fun way to get started. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!